So once again, I'm at Home Depot buying half inch shark bite connectors. Well, hey guys, this is Scott and Ariane from This Nomadic Idea. Our nomadic idea is to travel across the country full time in a 1976 vintage Airstream. And today, I'm trying to fix a few plumbing issues that some of it was my fault and some of it may not have been my fault, but we're going to go through how to snap together a shark bite fitting. Real quick video on what happens when you don't press it in all the way and how easy it is to actually attach a shutoff valve to your PEX plumbing if your RV has PEX plumbing. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so there's two ways to run water in your RV. One is through copper plumbing, which a lot of the older RVs have and still have. The other one is PEX. PEX is a new type of uh, plumbing. It's uh, ABS plastic that runs throughout your RV and it's a lot easier to work with and it's a little bit more freeze resistant than copper was. So that's why so many RVs now have PEX. The cool thing about PEX plumbing is it's really easy to fix if you have a problem with it. PEX plumbing comes in red or blue. You can easily buy that at Home Depot or Lowe's. But if you wanna put in a shutoff valve like I'm gonna do because one of your shark bite fittings broke, like mine did, and you wanna cut off water to that section of the RV, I'm gonna show you just how to snap in a shark bite shutoff valve into your PEX plumbing and how easy it is to do it. So the first thing you're gonna need is a tool. This is a cutting tool. This is a PVC plumbing cutting tool. So you can put PVC in it or you can put PEX plumbing in it. So this is a piece of PEX plumbing. This is exactly how it looks. This is a blue that comes in red. I've already had this crimped and put a T in it and put this for a hose. But let's say something goes wrong or some, let's say you want to attach a shutoff valve right in the middle of that. What do you do? Well, instead of taking it to an RV shop and having them do it, I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is. And then I'm going to do it on our Airstream and put a shutoff valve on it just, just to show you that you don't have to spend money on taking it to an RV. If you are, you know, soloing as a female and you have a plumbing problem, if you have PEX plumbing in your RV, it's pretty easy to fix. So the cool thing about this cutting tool is that you can use it on regular PVC pipe, but um, you can also use it on PEX. So this is a, uh, just kind of mark where you want your cutoff valve to go. And I'll tell you a little bit uh, easier way how to measure, but then all you're doing is applying pressure and it'll cut very easily. So look, boom, it's cut. And it was really easy. It didn't take hardly any effort at all to cut this. Okay, so you wanna put your shot off right here you want to, whichever way you turn the shut off, whether you don't want water to go in that section or you don't want water to go in that section, doesn't make any difference. This is your valve. So when the valve is this way, running like a T off of a straight line, that means your water is shut off. When your valve is parallel with your water line, that means the valve is on and water will pass through. Now this part is probably going to blow you away a little bit because in this, in this area, when you go to attach your shark bite, all you're doing is putting both pieces or one piece at a time, you're just putting it in and you're pressing down as hard as you can. This is where the shark bite can get a little tricky and where I may have made a mistake. When you push your shark bite in or your pecs into the shark bite, there's two different clicks that you're waiting for. It's easy to push it in and think, oh, it's in. 
but give it one more good push and you'll hear the other click and that's when you know your PEX plumbing or your PEX pipe, your water line is all the way in the shark bite. Now the shark bites are pretty cool because there's little teeth in there and the little teeth will grab that piece of PEX and clamp it down and hold it and no water will get through there at all. No water will, it won't break. There's no welding, there's no soldering. It's really just that easy to push in. But remember, there's kind of two clicks. There, you push it in once, you'll feel a little resistance, but then push it in a little bit harder and you'll get the true connection. So you might say, well, well, Scott, what if I mess up? What if it goes in, but then I have to take it out again? Well, all these little shark bites have a little lip on it. And that little lip right here pushes back in. When you push it back in, the teeth will release its bite and release the tube. Now, how do you get that to do that? Well, you're going to need this tool. You can see this tool is a little bit beat up because I've used it a lot and I am very familiar with having to redo it over and over and over again. So once your shark bite is connected, you would take this tool, you would just clamp it on there, you would push down, that releases it and it will come right off. I will warn you this, that PEX is a lot easier to remove than the copper bite is, but this PEX is really easy to remove a shark bite as long as you have this tool. Now, if you lose this tool, it is sold separately. You have to buy it separately. Every once in a while, it will come with a shark bite fitting or connection that you buy, but this tool is sold separately. I would highly recommend you buying this before you attempt to do any kind of shark bite plumbing. The other thing you can do though, because sometimes this is a little thick and it doesn't fit completely to where you want it. Um, I actually used this guy on my copper. It worked a lot better. These are PEX floor holders. So when you lay your plumbing, you put this on your pipe and then you nail that into the floor to secure your plumbing. But I found that these guys work really well too to remove the shark bite from the PEX. All right, so here's my project. I am in um, the back where the bedroom is. The bedroom is right up there. And I've got my water inlet over here. That's where the city water comes in. And of course, I've got my hot and cold. Well, what I want to do is I want to put a valve right over there, a shutoff valve, so I can cut water going to the bathroom completely. All right, so I hope you can see this. I'm going to try to do this the best I can. It might be a little bit dark, uh, but I'm going to cut it right here. That's where I want my connectors to go because I can easily get to this from outside the airstream in a moment's notice. Um, I don't have to really work too hard. I don't have to lift up the bed. I can just go outside and cut this off. So here I go. So always put a towel. You can see I have water in there. Always make sure you have a towel because it water will come out of there. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put the shark bite on there. That's it. That connection is on 
and now I can completely shut off water to the ins entire passenger side of the Airstream in a moment's notice. Okay, so PEX piping comes in two different sizes. It comes in half inch and it comes in three eighths. So before you start going out and buying things, especially your shut off or in any other your shark bite connectors, make sure you get the right size and make sure the connector says PEX or copper so you're getting the right actual fitting. When you go into the hardware store, especially Lowe's or Home Depot, there's a huge section of shark bite connectors. Sometimes you can get a little bit confusing. So this is a PEX to copper, PEX to PEX, or copper to copper fitting. It's all the same. Okay, so you'll see this piece right here. Now I had to remove this today because of one thing I did wrong. And this is super important when you're putting together shark bite fittings on either copper or PEX in your RV. So you'll notice here, there's very little room in between the two connections. Well, I can't get that off. I couldn't get that off with the tool. I can, couldn't get that off with every single piece of improvised tool I could. So you definitely always want to leave at least a three to four inch gap in between your fittings and you can see I didn't and it came apart. The other thing that I did was wrong was that in the beginning of the video I told you to make sure you give it a second push. Well the first time I did this I pushed it in and it sounded like it fit but that wasn't true. When I went to fix it I felt that same thing, but then I gave it another push and it went in all the way. So always make sure that when you're dealing with the shark bite, you give it a really good push and make sure those teeth grab that piece of copper or that PEX. Otherwise, it's gonna break. Now, I got lucky the first few times when I turned on the water. Now, thankfully, this happened in my shower. So if you want water to go everywhere, you definitely want it to go all over in your shower. And my plumbing is in the inside of the shower, not outside of the shower. So if something goes wrong, all the water is gonna drain into the tub and I'm fine. And that's exactly what happened here. So I know this was a kind of a quick video, but it was important for me to try to share my mistakes with you so you don't make the same ones I did when it comes to do-it-yourself RV repair in your rig, whether it's PEX piping or copper, those shark bites rock if you put them on the right way. Don't do what I did. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so always get notified of our next video. And we will see you guys later. Bye.